All right, this will be a pretty quick one, but I kind of figured out a little way to measure the ABL kicking in on the A80J. So I put my meter up against that static green element in the bottom right of the screen for the UI. And right now in this frame, it's pretty low at about 24 nits. Uh, but then I realized I can change the input and change back and it will completely disable any ABL that had kicked in and put it back to full brightness again. So now I'm going to let the video play where you can hear me call out how bright it is at different points. It's measuring 60 nits. So let's see how long it takes before it drops back down into the mid-20s. Also this is in game mode pretty obvious. Peak luminance on high at around 400 nits on a 10% window. It's down to 56. And this is also with the service menu white balance adjustment uh, that I will have a video on tomorrow probably. And it's with the Sony or Judd white point uh, which is the brightest point that I could get with uh, the service menu white balance adjustment and aiming for accuracy. What does kind of stink about this is I got rid of the C1 because it topped at 250 nits in SDR game mode, but I never noticed an ABL kicking in or it dimming while playing. Trying to keep the bright part of the sky in the same area of the screen. It is dropping fast down to 48. Forty-four. I do have quite a few more videos coming up for the A80J, but then I may be exchanging it for the 83 inch C1. Thirty-eight. As it does seem the 83 inch C1 really is a G1 printing for all intents and purposes. Um, so it may be brighter overall, and there's just some tests that I want to do on it. But again, I still got a lot more to do with this A80J before that would happen. And I may give the QN90A a shot as well. 35. So as you can see, it's dimming quite a bit. It pretty much drops in half. So if it was 400 nits, 10% window, to start with and it dropped to half then it would be down to 200 nits which would actually be even lower than the C1 that doesn't let you use the peak brightness setting it's just that you technically can measure higher and it can get brighter to start with but with the peak luminance on high it seems the TV just doesn't want to hold that in SDR now there are other advantages to the A80J still like the increased color contrast and sharpness but there's advantages for the C1 as well. And I'm getting hit. But got down to 32. Now it says 77 because the icon changed, but still, it dropped from like 60, whatever, down to 32 in just a few minutes. So, just another example of all TVs have their issues, and you just gotta find the ones you can live with. So, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a good one.